Hello, and I'm Toby, and today I'm going to show you how to make smoke in After Effects using a third-party plugin called Partico. Now, I'm sure you've heard of this. Let's do a, well, just a little preview on this. you can see, it kind of looks like smoke. All you have to do is actually really simple. But you do need a, a pretty um, a pretty good computer like that. Uh, so yeah, we need a four gig computer to do this. In fact, I recommend you don't even like four gigs, that's um you know that's that great because you might it high chance there's a high chance that your computer will crash while making it because it takes a lot up a lot of space. I mean it's like because you have to render like so many characters. Kind of like a those death eater. Like those like little like death eater things. Make the background color red. Make particle. wondering how I did this. Well, let me show you. Oh, and also I have these two, two simple wire removers. I put them on the Well, first you need to change the size down to one. I can't even see them. And uh, crank the particle to at least about a hundred thousand. Now I'm I'm just gonna do seventy thousand. I can show you the. Anyway, um, basically, then you have to go to the physics, air, and turbulent field, effect position, and you basically got smoke. Now you can also, um, on the scale, bring that up, like so. Bring that up to, um, make it a little more smoky red. Now basically just start. Whoops, 
so yeah, that's basically it. Now, here we go. Now you see the little like you see all this. Um, hold on. You see this kind of like little little dot. It kind of helps get rid of that. Go to effect. Go into then CC vector blur. Um. Hold on. What's the word for it? Basically, you also you can like do like a path there. Get rid of it. Oh, I'll change it to alpha. And so basically, you can use that. Oh, I'm just kidding. This looks horrible. Um, you get bit, not too much perpendicular. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's kind of do a room preview on this. Discord too. Um, I'm Sergey, and 